guys, Chris here. Today we're going to be filming two videos. First up, we're going to be filming a video about Trex Electric Mountain Bike Series. And that's going to cover the Powerfly, which we have over here. And we also have the Trek Rail aside, so we're going to check out that. And we have both the Powerfly in the full suspension and in the hardtail. Okay, so first we're going to check out the Trek Powerfly 5 of 2020. This is the newest model. This is the charcoal and bulk green edition. Uh, with this, this year they have the same power packs as last year um, all integrated into the frame so it looks really nice it looks really clean easy to charge easy to kind of store in a safer place and then it also makes it a little lighter weight if you're loading on racks or lifting up stairs or such you can take it into two pieces this year they managed to get a really good power spec on it they managed to get the new SRAM SX on there and um, so you are getting that 1x12 gearing system which is an improvement from last year giving you the huge range that you need on or off the trail that big 50 tooth gear is really amazing on the trail you can climb pretty much anything with it and with most of them that this year as well they've put a bigger chain ring on the hardtails they know that more and more people are going to be just doing the lighter trails or commuting with these so it gives you a better and easier gear around town around the flatter stuff to keep that speed up as opposed to full suspensions which have that smaller one which allows for a little more technical ability on the uphill climbs and keeping that lower range torque available. Like I say you've got that 1x12 gearing set up up front now which is really nice. This model you are getting the textural brakes so they are just single piston brakes um, just single piston brakes but they stop you well enough big disc rotors so it makes a big difference and you have got the RockShox Recon on the front here with the lockout so you're able to stiffen it up for the harder packed road or a big steep long climb as well new this year they put on the comfort grips which is really awesome a lot of people wanted that and then they also put on the commuter saddle like i say same battery as last year but that motor system is tiny compared to the previous years which we have one of the full suspensions over there that's the same size motor but they've really improved it. Charging port, they've also changed places. So now it is right here. And you just open it up and charge it. Again, you can take out the battery and charge it, or it's nice that you do have the option to charge it right on the bike. This comes with Trex XR3 tire in a 2.3 inch wide. Uh, we've done a couple modifications to this one. But otherwise, it's a well-equipped bike. It does have the E-Mountain Bike rated fork with the Recon. Nice little parrot spec. Um, same control console as previous years. Um, really easy to use. The Bosch systems are fantastic. So in Trek series of mountain bikes for electric, the next is the Powerfly FS5. And this one, essentially... They've gone to a slightly different gearing set. You do get that full suspension in there. You have the lockout options there. As well as the full suspension in it, you're also getting the minnow link in there. So you can actually drop this and it will make it significantly more trail ready. They come stock as well with the Arvada saddle. So this is a more sport saddle, a little more lightweight, smaller fitting saddle on the up, up top. So again, it makes it just more trail worthy and a dropper post with the FS series. And control console, and then it goes to a Shimano brake, but of the same quality, I'd say, as the Textro on the hardtail version. <clears throat> Big change is the fact that they went to the Dior system. A significantly smaller chain ring on the front, and then 10 speeds in the back. It does make it a little tighter climbing setup, but with the electric, you probably won't even notice a difference. You'll just use more electric power around town commuting you know it still is going to be a great performing bike just with a little faster acceleration and this comes stock with the xr3 tire more than enough for most people um, and the same rim which is the kovi tubeless ready rim so there's a kovi tubeless ready rim on both the fs5 and the powerfly 5. you deciding between the two the Powerfly 5 is a great bike, definitely designed for more the muta and just casual rider. When you swing over to the FS5, you are adding just that bit more comfort and forgiveness in the trails and on road with that rear suspension system with the ability to make it a real good trail machine 
because of the Mino Link and the Dropper Post Edition. The newest bike in Trek's electric range is the Rail Series. This is essentially the replacement for the full suspension of flies. The Rail, they are making it more mountain bike ready. They're giving you more travel, more forgiveness in the trails. With that slacker head tube compared to the Powerfly FS or Powerfly, you're going to be able to roll over things a little easier and descend faster. Downside normally to a head angle that steep would be um, sluggish feeling on the flatter trails. With the electric system and the bigger battery setup, you're not going to notice that. You may just use the higher end of the carriage. This one comes stock. This is the Rail 5 and it comes stock with that SRAM SX12 speed. It does again have the you know, link instead of being on the outside this time, you flip the chip on the inside just like some of the other Trek bikes. It has a drop post like the Powerfly FS. Motor control system. This one actually has a slightly better braking system than the Powerfly FS. The rail goes with the Textro 4 piston. Bosch motor, the battery capacity. It's just gonna perform off-road a little bit better and that's the main idea. Whereas the Powerfly series are both going to be designed for the person who is on and off the road. Just wants a more mountain bike feel instead of a cruiser. So for today, we are gonna be taking the Powerfly FS7 out. This is the 2019 edition, about half battery. So we're gonna go see what we can do with this. This one's got the XR4 plus size tires on it. So we're gonna go get ready and we're gonna actually go and test ride the Powerfly FS7 on the trail and give it an on-trail review and a little talk about how it feels to actually ride an electric bike and what it's actually like to push one up a hill if you need to. 